right. Shalom Israel. It's the brother Shaquat Kabar from the Great Mill South Can Great Millstone South Carolina Camp I'm coming at you with another lesson. And before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Kodash, Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And salutation to the fellow laborers that's out there pushing his word day in and day out in all truth and sincerity. So once again, this message is to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, according to scholar, uh, scholarship, archaeology, you know, and historical facts, man. And it also goes out to you Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen nations. Because it's not just about uh, color, you know. It's all go back to the a bloodline. And if you're part of the 12 tribes of Israel that came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is uh, the, the fathers of the Israelites, the Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, through that bloodline by the seed of thy father, that you are an Israelite, no matter what color or, or tr physical traits that you have. If your spirit and if your bloodline go back to Israelite descent, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. And the truth is only given right now, the understanding, to the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third. But I'm going to get into a quick lesson going into that word, the word mirth, you know. Because this is what time we in, man. A lot of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you had a mindset of being in mirth, living it up, man. You know, enjoying your life while we in the time of Yahweh Shah setting up his prophets, bringing his prophets out, speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which mainly is nothing but destruction, judgment that's taking place or that's about to come, or soon to come here in America and throughout the earth, you know. So I'm going to start off with Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7, but before I get that scripture, I'm going to go look up the word or the definition of mirth. This is um, Webster, MerriamWebster.com dictionary, and it reads the word mirth, the definition of mirth, gladness or gaiety as shown by or accompanied with laughter, meaning, you know, because uh, that's the mindset of the majority of this world, man, especially you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, accompany and laughter, you know, partying. You know, all these cele celebrations that they like to uh, uh, uphill when it comes to these uh, high holy days, what they call them, but really enough, but folly days, wickedness days when it comes to these holy days, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, you know, these sports, events, different things that our people be get, you know, going into to be amused, man, to have fun, to live life, you know. And it says on um, some symphonies, symphonies, symphonies for mirth. And it says cheerful, cheerfulness, cheerness, festivities, gluttonous, gluttonous, gayness, glee, gleefulness, a hilarity, um, mournness, and mirthfulness. So we're yeah, basically just going into you know those words, man. That's the majority of our people mind frame here in America, you know, being in that mirth spirit, living lavish, you know, thinking America going to keep going on, not knowing that it's prophesied in the Holy Bible for this place to be destroyed by the hands of the Most High, Yahweh, and who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shah, which are their so-called so Negroes, you know, entities, man. And they only, they only care for the nation of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting off with the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third. Because the elect is going to come back and repent. Brothers like myself, praying I'm part of that number, that's going to come back, serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in fullness, you know, in righteousness to the best of their ability. Go out pushing His word on the highways and byways, doing the work of the Lord in all truth and sincerity. Bring brotherly love, you know, keeping the, the real high holy days to the best of, of our ability and looking and hasting for the downfall of this place 
in the return of Yahweh Shah, when he returned and set up the kingdom of Israel by delivering the elect, you know, because our people don't know that this place is about to go down. Even though the Lord set up his prophets to warn them about the great destruction that's about to take place, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. And my first script is on uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So what is the time of Jacob's trouble, man? That great day, man. The time of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which, like I say, is the offspring of Jacob, which are the father of the Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That great trouble and day is near upon us, you know. It could have go to, you know, slavery, us running out of, you know, uh, or being pushed out of Israel during the time of 70 AD, us coming over here on the cargo slave ships, you know, the northern kingdom, you Latinos and Native Americans being taken down over here on the shores of the Americans by the so-called white race, which are the Edomites. But not, but that doesn't talk about the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is talking about the day when the Lord returned to destroy the wickedness of America and the wickedness of you two-thirds of you wicked Israelites, man. You know, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. That day when this place, this economy crashes, man. Just the day, man, you had the Dow Jones falling over more than, you know, 750 points, man. Showing that this place is crashing, you know, and the economy is done, man. And after that, what's going to happen? When all hell breaks loose, you know, the lack of food, which is a famine, you know, the lack, the, the lack of water, electricity, you know, uh, um, no more of this liberty, you know, getting up and have to work, getting going out and, you know, partying and living, you know, living, you know, comfortably, comfortably in this place, man. The Lord is about to take that spirit away, man. Especially when, like I said, when the day of Jacob's trouble comes, the martial law is implemented. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, is implemented. Race wars, World War Three, disease and pestilence, you know, all type of uh, uh, chaos breaking loose, man. Sedition amongst men, when the, 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 the citizens of America fighting against the uh, government. So all type of hell is breaking loose. And it's, it's gonna, it is breaking loose right now, but it's going to get worse and worse to the point that Yahweh Shah is going to destroy this place, man by the thermonuclear missiles, by the hands of Russia, by putting the spirit on the Russians and these other countries that got nuclear capability to destroy America. So we coming in that time of Jacob's trouble, not Murph, man, you know. Here is 20, 2019, soon to be 2020, and our people still thinking that, you know, everything good, man. They don't see the agenda that the so-called white man, which are the biblical Edomites, the white nation, you know, got planned against them, man. They're still thinking that America is the way for them. Thinking the so-called white man on freedom. They think they got freedom, you know, because the Edomites that gave them, you know, certain riches, you know. Now they done sold out to the, you know, the white man. You know, from the from these top um, super rich, now I won't even say super rich, but rich Negro, Latino, and Native Americans that's, in, that's got that status of this world. All the way down to the average uh, poor Israelite that, that's dependent on this system, you know. They don't know that the Lord put the spirit on these Edomites to come against them, man. And after all the hatred and the historical facts that these so-called white people show against you, Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, but you still want to be joined hand in hand with them. But this is what the scripture says. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell, dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having the great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And so that's what we're seeing, man. But you know, the blind ones of our people, you know, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you Israelites, you don't see that, man. You don't see the agenda that the so-called white man starting off with these elites, you know, down to the uh, American government, that's 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 controlled by the elites. The the propaganda that they have against you, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, you got all these mass shooting. You know, 
you know, you know, saying that, you know, going into going into terror terrorism, you know, and, and who's the full the, the 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 front runner of the uh, of terrorism right now? You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, especially brothers like myself, that's in the faith, man. You know, because what they label us now, because we call ourselves Israelites and we out there pushing this word. And our word is against this wicked, uh, w uh, the, the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah, Salaki. The word of Yahweh Bashim Shah, because that's who we represent. It's against this wicked world. Against the, the agenda of the so called white man, the Edomites. You know? And they despise that, man. They hate us for that. Because we speaking the truth. And we speaking the truth from a higher power. You know? Which is going to bring judgment upon this place. You know? So they label us as what, man? Black uh, identity, identity extremists, you know, you know, a hate group, a radical group, you know. And sooner or later, they're gonna roll in and prosecute us and demonize us, man. The Israelites, man, you know, and not just the ones that in the know, but also the whole nation, the ones of our people that lost too. The one thing about these devils, man, they know that we're the true living people. Or the living power, man. The true people of Yahweh Bashim was shot. The chosen ones, you know. And they're gonna come down on all Israel, man. You know. But the elect is gonna be delivered. The Yahweh Bashim was shot is gonna protect the elect in the times you know, of Jacob's trouble. That would be out here pushing his word, man, for ourselves, for salvation, and those that hear us, man. That the Lord is gonna deem to be part of, of the elect. For the ones that reject Yahweh Bashim was shot, they're gonna be destroyed. So the Most High said that the devil, meaning Esau, Edom, you know, the deceiver, because that's what the word devil means. And Esau done deceived the whole world, man, through his lies. Going to come down with that great wrath. And what's that great wrath? Mainly his martial law. When he crashed, crashed this economy of America and set up these martial law troops, these FEMA troops, you know, to come against mainly you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. As the American system as a whole, because these heathens, these whites, these Japanese, these Arabs, you know, these Chinese, these Africans, all these nations, these heathen nations that's here in America, they're going to get caught up into it too. But the Most High don't care about these heathen nations, you know. He's, he, his only concernment is about you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you chosen people of his, Israelites, man. But we the ones that the Lord made the covenant with during the time of Moses out of the deliverance of Egypt, man. So the Lord said his controversy Controversial is against you Israelites, man. So when all hell breaks loose, man, that's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. And the Lord showing, putting the spirit on the Edomites, like I say, to bring that great wrath, man. You know, like I say, the race wars, the clash wars, World War Three, the ones of our people that fight for this military that's going to go over there during the time in the middle, you know, in the Middle East, during the time of World War III, and be destroyed. This is, um, Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 7, in the read, the new wine mourneth, and the, and the vine vain languish. All the merry heart do sigh, the mirth of the tablets cease, the noise of them that rejoice ended. The joy of the heart ceased. And that's going to what people celebrate. But majority of the time when these people celebrate what they play, man. Music, man. You know, if they got to go to, you know, the type of, the, the, you know, the old-fashioned music like the instruments. You know, all these music festi fest festivals, you know. Partying in these clubs, you know. These, you know, just living lavish, man. But that's the main thing our people like to do, man. Re rejoice and live lavish. And, you know, and party, man. You know, celebrating, man. But Lord said the time coming with all that mirth is going to cease, man. Meaning it's going to be done away with. When all hell break loose. And Yahweh Bashim al shah put the spirit of judgment here on America and throughout the earth, man. Continue on. And it says, They shall not drink wine with a song, and strong drink shall be bitter to them. That drink it, kind of, it'll get so bad, man. I mean, it, it's going to get so bad that these people are not going to be happy, man. They're going to, you know, seek their way, or, you know, or drinking their problems away, or whatever type of uh, 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 habit they do that make them feel good, to feel comfortable, you know, a living, 
But when all hell break loose, man, that's going to be taken away, man. You know? Because when all hell break loose, it's not going to go back to the normal, typical life that these people live in today, man. You know? Because straight forward on from that time, man, when all hell break loose and the Lord brings judgment, it's going to go from different types of judgment, disasters, to the point, like I say to Yahweh Shah, come back and bring destruction into this place by the ways of the chariots with the world called UFOs, the angels, and by the, those thermonuclear missiles that's going to totally destroy America. And it says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And that city of confusion is America, Babylon, man. You know, because that's what the word Babylon means, confusion. And why this place is confused? Because you got majority of the people here in America don't know who they are. They following these false gods, these idols, following, following this uh, wicked, demonic system that's set up through lies, you know, following homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia, all type of wickedness, you know, our people are uh, um, uh, into, man. Following the false vision or chasing the American dream. You know, our people look up to these entertainers, these rappers, these uh, ball players, you know, these so-called higher-ups of our people that got a certain status here. You know, you got our people want to live the same life as them, man, even though they sold out, you know, the Satan through, through trusting in the so-called white man's system, you know. But the time coming when it's going to be broken down, man. And it says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So that much, so there's going to be so much hell breaking loose in America. That you're going to have people into their house, man. Like I said uh, earlier, man, I gave the example of martial law. Meaning when the military took over the government, you know, they're going to be shutting down these cities, you know, throwing, open up concentration camps and deploying people in those concentration camps, man. Going in to people houses, you know, taking them out of their houses and throwing them in concentration camp, putting them to death. The scripture says they're going to be like madmen sparing none. Because they're going to be the anger of the Lord on these FEMA troops, on these martial law troops, and on people generally to be killing or murdering each other, man, out here. You know, there's going to be the time of the Lord's judgment, you know. And when all hell break loose, man, you know these people, man, they're going to lose it, man. But they depending on America the whole time, man. So when all the money is gone, the food, the water, you know, the comfortability is gone, then all it's going to be left is the destruction and death, man. And it says, um, there is crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And that crying of the wine in the street doesn't mean what, man? When these people, mainly you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, Gonna look for the way out of those situations when all hell breaks. Looking for the truth, looking for the uh, 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 the salvation of uh, 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 save or save to be saved by having faith or hope uh, of being delivered when all hell breaks. Man, but they're not gonna find it, man. But this is the time now. The scripture says, "Seek ye the Lord while he may be found." Man, and how the Lord is uh, 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 the way for you to seek the Lord. By listening to his men that's on the highways, on the highways and byways, man. The prophets, mainly the mainly the men of Great Millstone, man. You know, and starting with our apostles and elders for years, man. Thirty plus years, we've been out there pushing his word, man. Starting with the apostles and elders, man. And but the younger brothers like myself on down, man. You know, but the majority of our people, man, we see them every weekend or whenever brothers go out, you know, or walk up and down, the, you know, the the street. A marketplace where we at to push this word, you know, you know, and don't don't want to listen, man. Don't want to take heed to the message, man. You know, you don't want to thumb down the videos, and make mockery, you know, against the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, not knowing that we are the way through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, bringing out this word to the way of salvation for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But they look at us as nobody, man. That what the Lord is only going to deal with the humble and the meek. Those that fit to be part of the elect and, and that's going to serve you, how about you, Yahweh But the ones of our wicked people, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, you're going to be caught up out there when all hell breaks loose. So you reject the look the word of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Now, man, instead of repenting and believing in your inheritance and your power, 
You're gonna suffer for that, man. Um, <clears throat> verse 12, and it said, In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Meaning, in all hell, Britons, man, like I say, race riots, martial law, famine, pestilence, wild teeth, or wild beast, you know, all hell breaking this man, and ain't nothing but death all over man, judgment from the heavenly father and the son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that murph spirit gonna be gone man, and our people love, like I say, living it up man, you know, especially these women man, the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American women, the Israelite women, they love, you know, trusting in this place, man. They the main one that like to party, go out and celebrate, man. You know, you got men too, but mainly it be our women. And all that's about to be done away with, man. All this madness, man. All this confusion. All this wickedness. All this murphing. This is, um, Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say this, this say the Lord. Say a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also famished, furbished. Okay, and that sword represents destruction, man. You know, like I say, many, you know, part of the Lord uh, sword is going to be, you know, um, the, 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 the martial law troops, man, the concentration uh, camps, you know, the race wars. That's war that's uh, being sharpened, man. The destruction that the Lord is about to bring to you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Like I said earlier, mainly by the way of the so-called white man. Because, you know, the, the scripture says that the, the wicked, which are the so-called white people, the Edomites, the Lord used them as his sword, man. Why do you think the Lord has punished you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, punish us, man, and have put us mainly under our main enemy, the so-called white race, man, the Edomites, because they are the wicked, and they are the Heavenly Father's sword to punish us, man, and the Lord is going to sharpen that sword once again, mainly with the times we're coming into, when Esau shut this country down, and they send, set up their martial law, man, and it said, it is sharpened to make a, a sword slaughter, it is famished that it may glitter, Shall we then make mirth? It could tempt the rod of my son as every and as every tree. Huh? So it says, Shall we then make mirth, man? You know? Once again, going back into the word mirth, you know, from the Mary Webster dictionary, man. How I say what what laughingness, cheerfulness, glee gleefulness, you know. You know, being in that mind frame of uh, stability, man, comfortably, com comfortably and living lavish in the kingdom that the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got destiny to be destroyed, man. And the words is being pushed out, man. We're giving the warning through the through the mouth of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh meaning the scriptures, man. But they don't want to take heed, man. You know? But a man of the Lord is not going to be in the mind frame of mirth, man, once they have this understanding and have the fear of the Lord dealing with them, man. Knowing that the Lord is a terrible power and he's about to bring great death and destruction worldwide, man, especially here in America, to you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, man, the two-thirds of y'all, man, the wicked one, and it said, he had given it to, the, to be famished, that it may be handled, this war is sharpened, and it is famished, to give it into the hand of the slayer, going back to Revelation 12 and 12, you know, Esau, Edom, the devil, going to come with that great wrath, but he know he have a short time left. Because when Yahweh Shah return, he's going to bring also the Edomites out of power, you know. But before that, he's going to put the spirit on the Edomites to come down with that great wrath upon you Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Mainly you wicked Israelites, man. You know, that's against Yahweh Shah. Because the Lord know, I mean, Esau, Edom, they know that the Lord is about to bring, uh, uh, bring, they, bring them out of power, man. So they know they have a short time left. Before the kingdom of Israel is set up to start the law with Yahweh Shah and the elect. That's going to take place here on the earth. And these heathen nations are going to go into captivity, starting off with the elites of uh, Edom. 
and the rest of these nations, man, that's outside of Israel. And it says, verse um, 12, Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 12, cry and howl, son of man. And cry and howl meaning what? Basically symbolic for mourning, man, lamentation, you know, death, destruction, you know, weepiness, you know. The Yahweh Shah, you know, all says, you know, gnashing, willing, and gnashing of teeth, man. Bad times, man. Suffering, man. Pain that these people ain't never going to imagine, you know, when the Lord bring that judgment, man. And it says, Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. And that's what the men are doing, man. The prophets. Us out going out there warning you Israelites and telling you what type of judgment about to come. That's a part of us crying and howling, man. Because ain't nothing but death and destruction and judgment is coming, man. And we wanted you to get right, man, to come back and pray to the Lord to be part of this fold, which is the elect. But we know that majority of our people are not going to come back, man. They're not going to repent. And it says, For it shall be upon my people, it shall be upon all the princes of Israel, terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people, smite therefore upon thy thigh. Huh? So the Lord said that the terror of that sword, meaning judgment mainly by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. When this place goes down, man, it's going to be upon you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites. A lot of people don't think that, man. They don't have the spirit of understanding. They don't have the spirit of the Lord dealing with them. And to understand the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh first of all, you got to be chosen, you know. And on top of that, you got to be moved with the fear of the Lord. But once the Lord give you the, the fear, and you have the understanding the fear of the Lord, you know what time that we in, man. And that keep you in the faith and hoping that you be part of the elect to be delivered. But the majority of our people, they don't fear the Lord, man. That's why they're going to be destroyed. Um, huh, this is Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 9. For this said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, meaning the Lord is about to bring that destruction, man. He's about to cease the, the, this, this, this mirth spirit, man. You know, our people celebrating, you know, marrying, you know, just like Yahweh shall say in the days of Noah, also shall be the day of the Son of Man, meaning when he return, man. When basically when our hell break loose also, man. You know, people getting and going, in, you know, in marriage, you know, starting families, seeking careers, you know, living, trying to live successfully, you know. The Lord said that, going back into Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 9, he said, I will cease out of this place in your eyes. And your eyes mean what, man? Representing vision, man, you know. Because the majority of our people, man, they visualizing themselves where they're going to be at another 10, 20 years. But the Lord said that, you know, you got to go by and live day by day, man. Because tomorrow is not a, tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised, man. You know, we say it would be the will, Lord, will of the Lord, man. The Lord's will. And the men of the Lord is looking for this place to go down, man. But the ones of our people that's in this world, man, you know, in their mind, they vision, thinking they're going to keep going on. That America is not going to ever uh, go down, man. You know, when there's signs showing in us, the men in the, in the know, you know, through the media, through the different news outlet, you know, different, you know, um, people that have spoken and speaking out, you know, whistleblowers, those that's in the know, you know, even ones that's not in the truth, but still saying that this place is done, man, you know, gather up food, gold, and, you know, get ready for the recession, get ready for this economy to crash, you know, but majority of you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, you lost ones that's out there, man, that's not in the truth, that's not in the faith, you know, 
you thinking this place is going to keep going on, man. Not knowing we seconds and days, Lord willing, for this place to go down, man. And we see it, man, through the times, man. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh told Ezra to measure the times diligently, you know, in itself, man. Stand upon thy watch, man. And if you're a true man of the Lord watching, you see that the sign of Yahweh Bashim uh, uh second coming, and the part of it is America going down is taking place, man. And that great judgment, man, that the Lord is about to bring. Um, so basically, that's it, you know. That was the Lord coming back, man. The Lord is about to make all this madness, man, this mirth that our people love, man, uphold here in America. About to cease, man. It's about to be done away with, man. And we seeing that, man. But the majority of our people, the two-thirds, they don't see it. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse um, verse um, 3. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the consciousness, the heart is made better. Counsel, the Lord is saying that sorrow... It's better than laughter, man. But one thing, you know, and they said they make the heart, the um, the consciousness, the consciousness, the the heart is made better. You know, the sadness of the consciousness, the heart is made better. You know, because one thing about the men of the Lord, man, you got the true understanding. You find out that we're slaves, we're under our enemies, that we're supposed to be ruling over, that we are the Lord chosen people. You know, when you come back to the reality. In your true mind frame, the true spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh dealing with you, you you in a state of sorrowness, man, you know, and you being in the state of sorrowfulness, that keep you in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that's what you're going to keep in the faith and the hope, you know, steady on your watch, because you're going to be steady looking for the downfall of this place and the uprise of our power on uh, uh, establishing us, man, you know. So we ain't in no time, you know, of course, you know, we don't walk around all in a bad mood, but we know what time we ain't living in, man. You know, we, we have times that we know we, you know, sit back, you know, cheer, rejoice, but mainly we rejoicing with our brothers, man, with each other, you know. We spend time with our women, you know, our children, you know. But our main focus is knowing that this place is going down, man. And this place is don't, don't have another 10, 20, 30 years, man, you know. You know, uh, and it reads on, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So the heart of the wise, meaning the mind of the wise, what mind of what wise men? The Israelite men. You know, the ones that's in this faith, man. The hopeful elect men. They mind is set is going to be in the house of mourning, man. You know, because like I say, we know what time that we're living in, man. We know great judgment is about to take place, man. We know that we're captivity. Uh, slaves here in this captivity, man. We know that the so-called white man, the Edomites, are the devil, and how they have their agenda to come up against us, man. And that the Lord set them up over us to punish us, man. So the Yahweh shall come back and remove him, man. You know, so we constantly going to be in a state of mourning, man, and looking and hastening for the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall return, man. Then we can rejoice when the Lord established the kingdom of Israel on the earth with righteousness, man. And we delivered from out of our captivity and being taken from under our enemies and it says verse um, 5 I mean verse 4 the heart of the wise is in the the um, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth and two thirds of our people they are fools man thinking that this place is going to keep going on man that all our people know, man, is how to celebrate, man. Looking for the next NFL, NFL season, NBA season, the next trend, the next club, the next hottest music, you know, the next fashion. They're not thinking about the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh judgment that he's about to bring upon this place. They're not thinking about what the Edomites, these starting off with these elites and this system got planned against us, man. How they want to move on us, man. Because they mind, they mind, their heart, they mind. Meaning they, like a salak in their mind, you know, meaning their heart, which is, uh, is, 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 is in the house of mirth, man. And they're kind of fools, man, thinking that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to let this wicked place 
continue on. And I'm going to get this last scripture. That's why we give praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. The ones that's in the faith, man. And we pray that the Lord keep us in the spirit to endure to the end, man. Because we see what was about to take place, man. There's brothers that's in the faith. This is 2 Peter chapter um, 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some man count slackness. And what is the Lord promise, man? To bring destruction to Babylon the Great, which is America. You know, by the thermonuclear missiles. And also the promise that he kept to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he was going to establish our kingdom. And that's going to happen when Yahweh Shah returned with the chariots to deliver the elect, the 144,000 and the 130. And it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the Lord is long suffering, man. You know? And the Lord has prophets out for years, man. Start like I say with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Even their apostles and their elders before them, man. You know, so for years, man, the Lord had this, this word being pushed, man. Telling you Israelites, you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, who your true power is, who you really are, you know. So the Lord is long suffering, but the time coming, but the Lord is not going to be patient with this place anymore, and that great day of judgment is going to is going to happen. And it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, unexpected. And it says, in in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that there are in, shall be burnt up. Talking about when Yahweh shall return with those chariots, those so-called UFOs, the angels. Because Yahweh shall not only going to bring salvation to the elect, but he's going to bring destruction by the ways of those chariots, man. By the way of laser beams, concentrated fire to burn up different kingdoms and people, man. You know? And also... Those thermonuclear missiles that's going to be shot off after Yahweh shot delivered the elect, you know. That's totally going to destroy America and the land of Israel, but mainly the, the land of America. America is never going to be inhabited. But those, the land of Israel where those fake Jews at, they're going to be totally destroyed just for the righteous, the rightful Israelites, you niggos, Latinos, and Native Americans, us to set up our kingdom here on the earth in our land. But America is not going to be inhabited after the destruction of those thermonuclear missiles um, by the hands of Russia, man, and these other nations that the Lord is going to put the spirit on to destroy them, <coughs> destroy America. And it says, um, seeing then, 2 Peter chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Going back, what mind frame you should be in, man. Especially brothers that's in the faith, man. Because even amongst these Israelite camps, man, they still in that spirit of mirth, man. You know, want to get together, all Israel, get together, have to pass over, pass over. And they're supposed to be a solemn and a symbol. But what they do, man, they, they celebrating, you know, playing music, you know, living lavishly, man. Enjoying they up, where we supposed to be preparing ourselves for great judgment, man. You know, Paul say, through much trials and tribulations, shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. The kingdom of Israel, man. And that trial and tribulation is when the destruction come by the way of the Lord bringing judgment upon this place, man. You know. So this says that, um, reading again, Second Peter chapter three, verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Meaning, you know, being in the right spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Maintaining the faith and doing what the Lord requires to do when it comes to the scriptures and righteousness, man. Like I say, pushing his word, man. On the highways and byways. On the internet. Like I say, being brotherly in love. You know, keep the law, statutes, commandments. The high holy days, man to the best of your ability and steady constantly praying to the Lord and watching for the destruction to come and the salvation of Yahweh Shah for the elect 
and it says, looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Not, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein the well of righteousness, meaning the kingdom of Israel being established once, once Yahweh shall return. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such thing, be diligently, diligently, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And that what the men of the Lord, like myself and brothers in the faith, looking for the Lord uh, to come back, man, so we can be found uh, 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 blameless, man, spotless, man. Meaning when the Lord come back, he'll find his favor on us to be, uh, to be delivered, man. That we won't be destroyed with the rest of the two-thirds, man. That we be part of the elect, man. You know? That's why you got to constantly stay in the spirit, man. Praying, fasting, you know? Steady meditating in the, you know, in the faith. You know, watching videos, putting up videos. Going out pushing his word, man. Communicating with brothers. You know, staying in the spirit, man. You know, because that's going to keep you in the hope of being part of that elect, man. Because like I say... The ones that are in the faith, man, brothers, you know, that's in the faith and have the understanding, we know that this place is doomed to go down, man. You know, so that's all I have, you know, quick little lesson, hoping that you brothers, you know, the edifying out there, you know, through the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So the next time I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Bakar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders out of the great millstone that rule well, the salutation to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry. That's uplifting the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah day in and day out in all truth and sincerity. Till next time, Shalom.